we'll go through photosynthesis as quickly as we can. Um, so the idea we're thinking of here is we need to get an energy source for the plant. So we're using light energy and we're turning it into our glucose that our plant can use basically um, to produce ATP so that they can grow as well. It's really important all the time. I think I see this misconception that photosynthesis only in plants, cellular respiration only in animals. Cellular respiration is in plants as well. They need ATP. They need to grow. Um, it's just that photosynthesis is only in plants. So don't kind of isolate the two completely. Okay, so it's happening in our chloroplasts. So these are found in plants as well. So specifically kind of in our like leafy cells. Um, so our chloroplasts, we've got our two important structures. So the grana and the stroma. So the grana or a granum is made up of thylakoid discs. And this is where our chlorophyll sits. And that's really important in capturing the light energy. And that's why it's green. Um, and so that is where we have our, think, chlorophyll, green, our grana, light dependent reaction. Stroma is our, just like liquid that floats around in here. Think of it as like the chloroplast version of the cytosol. Um, and that is where our light independent stage happens. Okay, so here's a bit of a better diagram. So we've got our light dependent and we have our light independent. This is a really nice, good overview of the process. So we'll talk about the steps, but basically your water comes in. We've got our light energy that's giving us the energy to produce this um, glucose, essentially. We The reason we want water is for the hydrogens. The plant couldn't care less about the oxygen. The oxygen gets sent out. These hydrogens come over into the light independent stage and how they do it is they come over via the NADPH remember when we talked about coenzymes so we've got like ATP our NADPH stuff like this um so importantly remember the coenzyme is NADPH in cellular respiration you've got NADH photosynthesis P for photosynthesis P NADPH so we need our hydrogen that's popped over here um, basically, the role of NADPH, our coenzymes, is just to cycle. They, oh, again, coenzymes, they act like enzymes a little bit. They're not like used up themselves. They're just little transport vesicles almost. And that's kind of what our ATP is used for as well. Photosynthesis, we don't have any net ATP production. We get some ATP from our light energy and we use it in order to produce our glucose. So it's just that cycle. Um, so our carbon dioxide comes in in the light independent stage and fuses with our hydrogen and therefore you get glucose. So that's a really nice rough overview. To be a little bit more specific, again, so our water molecules, you can see, split our hydrogen and our oxygen. Oxygen is our waste product. Our hydrogen goes um, to the next stage via our NADPH, our ATP is produced going into the next stage as well. This is in the grana. The light independent stage is in our stroma, so in this liquid. It's also known as the Kelvin cycle. Um, and so we use our ATP, we use our NADPH, they are all cycled. Our carbon dioxide comes in and we then produce our glucose. So you can see that oxygen is basically produced and released in the light dependent stage. It doesn't really have any purpose over here. Our carbon dioxide isn't involved in the light dependent stage at all. It only comes in here. So understand that. Rubisco is also an enzyme that we look at in particular that's involved with the Kelvin cycle. Um, and it's important in this idea of carbon fixation. So here are our inputs and our outputs. Quick slider poll. So which molecule is not involved in the light dependent stage so i know that was a bit of a quick overview hopefully that makes sense again just like for me visually it's really important to kind of let everything sink in it does depend on the type of learner you are um but yeah i diagrams for cellular respiration especially because there's three stages um they really help a lot, in my opinion. So really, really work with them. So light dependent. Remember what happens in the light dependent. Think of what splits in the light dependent. Um, what is involved there? Okay. 
Lovely. So yeah, correct. Carbon dioxide. Remember, this is involved in our light independent stage. Um, so with the stroma, with the Calvin cycle, oxygen gas is involved in the light dependent because water splits to form our oxygen gas and that is released. ATP, remember that's produced in the light dependent stage and used up in the independent stage and water, that's kind of our main input. So basically know your inputs and outputs. So the main input of the light dependent is the water, main output oxygen, main input of light dependent is carbon dioxide, main output is glucose. Understand that and then the other bits kind of fall around. This is what I meant when I was answering the question before about how to know your complex details and learn that information. Break it down to your basics first. So kind of what I've just mentioned, main input, main output, main input, main output, and then add the other stuff in the location, the coenzymes, um, all that kind of other stuff. Okay. So in terms of Rubisco, again, just a brief overview, basically Rubisco, again, this, the all comes down to stuff with enzymes. Rubisco is an enzyme. So all the stuff that you, we talked about before applies here. Um, so essentially Rubisco, we, its substrate is carbon dioxide. Oxygen looks very similar to carbon dioxide. So what happens is Rubisco will obviously work on carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide is low, it will bind to oxygen because they look similar. Um, you don't want that. You want to avoid Rubisco binding to oxygen at all costs because as you can see here, um, basically, yeah, everything kind of slows down and it wastes resources, it wastes energy. And um, yeah, you basically just want to avoid that. So C3 plants, they're your really basic plants. It's what I've just talked about in terms of photosynthesis. That's how it happens. They don't have any way of preventing Rubisco from binding to oxygen. However, C4 and CAM plants, they um, they basically do. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to it. But basically, um, C4 separates it by space and CAM plants were um, separated by time. That's kind of the main thing you need to know. So again, I won't go into it in too much detail, but um, CAM plants separate it by time. So it's this idea that um, it's almost like, I think of it like hibernation, like when a bear eats a lot of food and then sleeps, like it's kind of like that. You store the carbon dioxide at night to use it in the day. Um, in C4 plants, basically they store carbon dioxide in this area of the plant to use it in another area. So that's the general overview there. Okay, so basically the exact same thing that we talked about with our enzymes. Um, so with light availability, we've gotten our plateau essentially. So the more light you add, um, that's going to increase the light dependent stage, which in turn will increase light independent. You're getting that increased rate of photosynthesis. Again, it plateaus. It'll always plateau because something else will become the limiting factor. You can add as much light as you want, but ultimately, um, you know, there's only so many enzymes in the plant or there's only so much water that you have or only so much carbon dioxide. Something else becomes the limiting factor. Same with water availability. So the more water, again, water is an input of our light dependent stage, it increases, you get to that plateau. Carbon dioxide concentration, the same thing. It increases, you get that increased rate of the light dependent, independent, sorry, stage. Ultimately something else becomes a limiting factor. You can add as much carbon dioxide as you want. The light is the limiting factor. Light energy can't work any faster. Hopefully that makes sense. See how it's the same principle as what we've talked about before. So work smarter, not harder, memorize one, understand that concept and then just apply it. 